just gonna jump straight into it because I don't really have time to like chat. So I'm just gonna get straight to the point. So I've had a shower, I've brushed my teeth, and now I'm about to do my makeup. So for skincare, morning skincare, I literally just use this. This is SPF, I wear this every day now. And I just bought this Nivea cream to use as like a, just a moisturizer really for the face. I just put on the SPF first and then put on the moisturizer. I know some of you guys wanted a makeup routine. So I felt like it would be good to do it in this sort of video because this is like my everyday makeup. <laughs> I mean, even on the weekends, I wear the same makeup. So I'm, I'm a bit boring with my makeup, but I think when you find a way, you just kind of stick with it. And I just, you know, don't really experiment that much anymore. Today is my first day back full time if that makes sense so i have been doing like a week in and a week off but from today so it would have been from yesterday so today's the 12th of july tuesday the 12th 12th tuesday the 20th of july but i did have yesterday off because i was actually supposed to be in the isle of wight over the weekend but i didn't end up going so i just kept yesterday booked off um just to do a few bits so yeah, from today, I will be back in the office, Monday to Friday, every week. <laughs> That'll be exciting to get back into a routine, I guess. I haven't been back full time like that since March last year. <laughs> okay, so once I've moisturized my face, I then go and wet my beauty blender. I'll tie my hair back for this because I don't like it getting in the way. Right, so the first thing I go in with is some concealer. And I put this concealer under my eyes. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Put some under, under my eyes because I've got quite dark eyes. So I just put it in the places where I've got like discoloration, any blemishes. And then I just blend it in with my beauty blender. Okay, so that just takes a bit of the redness and darkness away, I guess. And then I go in with my foundation. So I use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation again. I normally sit here with the radio on as well, but obviously I can't put the radio on because I'll get copyrighted. I then go back in with my concealer. Pretty much go over the same places as I went at the beginning just to give it some extra coverage. And then I go on to powder. So I use the HMB Cosmetics Loose Powder in Translucent. I use a little, it's like an eyeshadow brush and I'll just get the excess powder and I'll just kind of put it on, on my under eye. Maybe I'll get a little bit more it's more thicker because obviously your under eyes where it creases even though my under eye still creases even though i've set it i think that's just normal <laughs> and then i go in with a bigger this one? my bigger brush just to set the rest of my face Right, then I go on to bronzer and I use the Sissy Bronzer by Maybelline. All my brushes are Real Technique, by the way. And then I just put the bronzer on my cheekbones and then I work my way around my like hairline, I guess you'd call it. And I also put some down um, my nose as well, either side of my nose. And then it looks like that. Blush. I've used the same makeup for a very long time, so please don't judge. I just haven't found the need to change it because I'm just, I'm happy with how it is, you know? So I was just using the Benefit Brow Setter on its own, but I've decided to buy just a, I think this is Rimmel or Maybelline again. 
a pencil just to underline my brow slightly just to give it a little bit of definition normally i have to wake harry up but i think he's up i've just heard the toilet go so he's probably up already which is good and then lastly i put a little bit of mascara on this one i think it's from i don't even know you know i got it in a glossy box ages ago and i've just used it ever since and the the branding has rubbed off, so I don't know what it's called. Sorry, my camera cut off there. I thought I'd literally just been talking to a camera that wasn't recording for the last 10 minutes. But luckily it just cut off as I started my mascara. So yeah, makeup's pretty much all done. I then go in, I just use my wet wipe and I just wipe off the foundation lips. <laughs> and then I apply my lip blush which is in my handbag i need to go and grab that but i also just put some highlight on my the tip of my nose and in between my brows and just literally wipe it on my finger brush it on the top of my nose between the brows and then that's what it looks like so i'm just going to go and grab my lip blush so this is this is what it looks like called M, M Co Beauty and it's actually a cheek and lip tint. I haven't used it on my cheeks, I've just used it on my lips. It's quite bright, you know, like looking at that, it's like whoa, but it does kind of um, go down a little bit the more you rub it in. And then I just go in with the NYX lip gloss. This is the plumping one. It's pretty much all gone now. I have bought a new one, which is in there that I will swap over, put in my handbag. And that's what it looks like. I mean, it even looks bright on camera, but it's not that bright in person. It's not too bad at all. And that is my makeup done. And I wear that every day, even on a weekend. So yeah, right now I need to do something with my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna go over it with the Revlon brush. I'm gonna get dressed quickly. And then I need to make my smoothie and then we need to go. Okay, so I've just got dressed. I was going to do something with my hair. I was just going to go over it with this brush. But I washed it yesterday and I left it. And really you're supposed to kind of do that when your hair's wet. So my hair has dried. Kind of like wavy. So this is what my hair's kind of dried like. So the ends are a bit frizzy, but I just feel like, one, I'm running short for time as well, but I don't know. I think I just want to leave it wavy and natural this week. And then, because I'm getting it done on Saturday, today's Tuesday, so I might just not put any heat on it for the rest of the week. I have to have it tied up for work anyway, so I don't even see the point. So I just tied it up in a little bun like that. And I'm good to go. So now I'm going to make my morning smoothie. I have slightly changed my morning smoothie from my last, the last time I filmed it. If you guys watched that. Um, because, let me just take you over to the kitchen bit. I'm also going to wear this shirt over the top as well. Just to give me a little sum sum, you know. So. Yeah, what was I saying? So I've slightly changed up my smoothie because in my last one I was having rolled oats in it and I think I'm just kind of, anything with like wheat or gluten in it just makes me blow. And obviously that is the only thing that has wheat in, in that smoothie. So I was having these. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to avoid that. So I've slightly switched it up. So I'm having, to be fair, the whole thing is pretty a different smoothie. I'll put it on screen for you as well in case you want to try it out. But it actually tastes all right as well. I did add honey and it does tell you to add honey as well. So you have to have one banana broken into chunks, one cup of frozen blueberries. It says half to one cup of unsweetened plain or vanilla dairy free milk. I have, I have almond milk, so I had one cup of almond milk. And then it says half a cup of frozen or fresh baby spinach leaves. Oh, it says optional, but do try. 
well i had mine yesterday with um spinach and it tasted i thought that was like the main ingredient and then it says one tablespoon of ground flax seed i've never had that before in my life had to go sainsbury's to get it this is the one i picked up but i've read up on the benefits of it and it's pretty beneficial and then it says a quarter of a half a teaspoon ground cinnamon to taste optional and then it says honey or like other sweet things to i suppose make it a little bit sweeter so i add so i add honey to mine and um, so yeah that's my new breakfast smoothie my blender actually broke about a week ago and i stopped having smoothies i've got hair on my lip it broke the seal broke well i actually caught the, the seal <laughs> as i started blending so then it broke so i was out of smoothies for a little while but i thought if i'm gonna have it every day then i want to maybe get something a little bit better because that's my second one i had um if you guys watched the previous video you would have seen what, what blender it was it was only like a cheap one from sainsbury's but um i thought if i'm gonna have it every day then i might as well invest in a good one so i've got the mini it's called the mini well no it's called not called mini it's just called magic bullet but it's like the mini version of the neutral bullet it was only 40 pounds in sainsbury's which is why i kind of thought i might as well get it and i used it yesterday it was really good so i'm gonna crack on and make my smoothie because it's 6 57 so we're gonna need to leave in about 10 minutes so i guess i'm not doing too bad for time Okay, now I'm gonna make the bed real quick. Normally I'm pretty hot on this, but if I am running late, then sometimes I just have to make do with not making it. If anything, if I was like sleeping on my own, then I would make it as soon as I get out of bed, but because Harry is still in bed, when I get up, I can't really do that, you know? So, we're doing okay for time. The only thing I'm panicking with is that I need to buy my ticket at the station. And obviously we need to find a parking space when we get there. So, you know, it's sometimes it can be, well, it has been pretty busy. It's a hit and miss really with the station parking. Because if you park in the station, it's like really expensive. It's like eight pound a day. No nine pound now for the whole day um but if you park on a road outside the station it's slightly cheaper it's four pound 80 for the day so we like to get those sort of spaces um but it's only like a i don't know i'd say there's like maybe 10 or no maybe like 13 14 of those spaces and they get taken pretty fast in the morning so yeah, we'll be very lucky if we get a space there. Um, and then I need to, yeah, buy my ticket. So that I'll have to do for today. So this bag has my lunch bits in. Um, I've just got some fruit, and my sauces and stuff. I would, I used to have a dressing table, but the TV's on that now in the bedroom. So we wouldn't normally have this set up on the dining table it really does bug me and it's been like that for about a month now but we're in the process of moving so hopefully not much longer but yeah i'm just going to pack up my bits my smoothie is good to go and yeah i'll check in when we get to the station that's that road i was talking about guys it's completely full so harry's at to park in the station he's dropped me off to get my ticket so i'm just going to walk there now Hiya, oh, yeah. can I purchase a weekly to Liverpool Street, please? Yes, thank you. Yes, please. Thanks. Put your please signs up. Hi, <laughs> your attention, please. 
Police uh, were just being stopped here on the approach to Liverpool Street. That's only red signal. This is just due to us running ahead of schedule and waiting for a platform to become available. Uh, we should be on the move with the next uh, few minutes. Thank you. Oat milk, please. Okay, we made it. Well, I am hot. I felt like that journey was just uncomfortable from getting off the train because I had this bag. I had to change my bag at home because I couldn't fit all my stuff in it because I have to bring up my dresses and stuff in um, to wear. And um, yeah, it was just pretty quite warm out now so I feel a bit hot and flustered and my bag's so heavy because I've got my laptop my own laptop and you know my camera my sauces for my salad <laughs> I've literally got everything so it's just so heavy right I'm gonna get changed um yeah the prep thing basically um Harry noticed it if you sign up because he found out that he was buying station coffees at our station at home and he was spending about three pounds something on a coffee pretty much every day and it was working out about 50 quid a month that he was spending on coffee and he noticed that Pret in London were doing this you pay 20 pounds a month and you get like up to five coffees a day is it up to five coffees yeah, I think it is, in 30 minute intervals or something. Or any cold drink from Pret. So he's signed up to that. Um, but you do get your first month free. So I've signed up to that. I'm not gonna stay subscribed to it because I get coffee and work. But I thought, um, might as well get a month free. And you can get iced coffees from Pret, which are quite nice, which is what I got today. So yeah, that's why I went to Pret. I wouldn't normally go to Pret. Anyway, I'm gonna get dressed, so um, I'll see you after. So because my job requires me to sit at a desk most of the time, I do like to get up and do laps of the floor just to kind of stretch my legs and move my body a little bit. So I've just got home from work. I'm so sorry that I went a bit MIA as soon as I got to work. It's just I had to start my shift and I can't really film anything whilst I'm working. So that is my morning routine, work edition for you guys realistic i mean can it get any more realistic it was a bit bit stressful this morning not gonna lie my mornings aren't that stressful normally i don't like being late i like just kind of getting to places early and just chilling out and taking my time but i think it was the chatting that got me this morning you know i said oh i best not waffle on i did end up waffling on because i've actually watched the video back and i was waffling for a little bit so that's the problem anyway that's my morning routine i hope you guys enjoyed watching this is my sweaty messy face after a full day as you can see i'm very oily i won't get too close to you guys but yeah my skin is very oily it's been a hot day even though i've been on been in an aircon building for most of it if you're new here and you want to see more from me then please don't forget to subscribe and hopefully i will see you all in my next one